Hello everybody and welcome. We've got football action coming your way and it is trying to calibrate. We are good. We have the Crusaders taking on the River Hogs at the River Hogs home stadium. The River Hogs are going to be kicking it off. Returnable. Malcolm Bridges has it. And he sheds a tackle and manages to get past the 25 up to the 27. Half decent starting field position for the Crusaders who are still looking for their first win. This is going to be their fifth game and it's Onus Odobi Jr. taking the helm instead of Josh Allen who started the first three games. Onus hands it off to Sean and he gets stopped right at the line but manages to get two yards. And tucking it and running is Onus and he gets a lot of yardage with that one. Manages to go up the gut for 14 yards. Onus Odobi Jr. gets the first down. Number one and the leader of this offense now. In the shotgun. Hands it off to Sean Sell from the delayed handoff. He manages to just get a few yards. No yards after contact there. In the shotgun again. Quick throw behind his target. Only throw the night so far incomplete. And they have two backs next to him in the shotgun. Two wide receivers out left. And under pressure, he is sacked. They disguised the blitz. Linebackers came in late. Got him. Here's the punt. Booming punt returnable by Cooper. He gets a couple of yards. And here comes the offense for the River Hogs, led by Hazel Rose. Hazel had a very nightmarish performance in his last game, throwing three picks in the second half. Looking to change things today. Quick throw, caught, Mike Scott. First down, 12 yard gain. And here's the handoff. That'll get a few yards for Evan Daniels. Daniels traded for a couple of weeks ago and the throw off the hands of Mike Scott. We saw him drop an almost identical pass last week starting the game, but really heated up at the end, getting their only receiving touchdown. And under pressure, throwing the screen pass to Daniels, and he's not going to get the first down. Are they going to put out the punting unit? It looks like they will. On pure coverage are the Crusaders. And they're going to let it be returnable. 11-yard return. Backfield, Sean Self taking the snap. Onus Odobi in the shotgun. Pump fakes. Throw over the middle, tipped up in the air and dangerous as he tried to fit that one into Vance Walsh. Second and ten now. Back to the passing game. Gets it off to Don Glong. That'll pick up nine yards. The first completion of the game for the Crusaders. See Meekham and Hames Jarrison on the bench discussing it with their D coordinator. What went right, what went wrong last drive. Here's the handoff to Self. He's not gonna get the first down, but there's a flag. Let's see what the penalty is. And it's a holding penalty, likely gonna decline. And for some reason they accept. They wanna back them up further. Aggressive play calling from the River Hogs 
And it's going to hurt him as Ma Malcolm Bridges reaches up and grabs that one. It looks like they thought they might have been able to go for it in that territory, fourth and one, and trusted themselves on third and 11, and it cost them. In motion, another pass play under pressure and sacked again. AI player Sheffield. There's a little dump off. Got it to Frederick Dunn. Third and 14 now. Just going to dump it off to Don Glog. He's going to bowl his way forward, but it's not going to be enough for the first down. This would be a long field goal attempt. And they're just going to punt this one. Would have likely been 60 plus yards. And he's going to pin them inside the 10. Great punt there from the Crusaders punter. In the shotgun, Hazel Rose. Drops back under pressure, dumps it off to his running back. Daniels gets the first down and more. 16 yard gain off the dump off. Quick throw turns into a big play. Crusaders got pressure on him. Now they try to get pressure again. Quick throw and this time he just ran before he caught the ball. That was the AI wide receiver, Joseph. They get it to Zenner. Zenner on the end around. Gets the first down and more. He's going down the sideline and he makes it all the way to the 35. And they're gonna call that a pass play of 42 yards. To the tight end, Ken Zenner. They're handing it off to Daniels. And he gets the first down there off a good rush. Jim Williams calling defensive audible there. And it's not going to matter as that's the end of the first quarter. And this has been an exciting first quarter back and forth. Defense is not letting up except for maybe one big play. Quick throw to Daniels and he has to jump up to get it. And Damiana Self knocked the ball out of the air. And a quick throw to Mike Scott. That's going to get him the first down. They're in the red zone. For the first time today, Hazel Rose in the shotgun. Throws it, finds Jeffrey John for the first down and brings him inside the five all the way to the three. And it's a read option. Hazel is going to get into the end zone. Decides to keep it and waltzes in. Dapping up his big man, Jeffrey John. And the Crusaders find themselves in an early hole again. The Crusaders have had a hard time responding to early scores. We'll see if they can change that up here. The return from Malcolm Bridges. He'll get past the 25 all the way to the 28. And there's the handoff to Sean Self. We'll get him a couple. The fake taking off his onus. Running a read option of their own, only getting three yards. Third and five now. Thought he had more space outside than he did.
The throw and a wide open Vance Walsh drops it on third and five. <coughs> Big drop there. Coverage tackle. Elijah Gregory tracks that one down on special teams. Here's the handoff to Daniels. He's going to avoid contact at the line of scrimmage. Just shimmies behind his own guys. Picks up four yards and a nice little run. And a read option. Gonna get him a few yards, tracked down from behind. That was Mike Litteris who ended up getting him there. There's the handoff. And a good run from Elijah Daniels. Or not Elijah, Evan Daniels. In the shotgun again, Hazel Rose. One receiver left, two right. Working the right side of the field and just throwing it out of bounds, nothing there. Definitely want to limit the turnovers this game after what happened in his last one. Quick throw, gets it to Jeffrey John and it's dropped, almost picked up by the wide receiver Joseph. Threw him right into contact. And there's the sack. Hames, Jarrison gets to him. And a defensive stand from the Crusaders uh, gives them another opportunity to score before halftime. Returnable. Not going to get a whole lot. Jay Blinko gets that one up 10 yards. Shotgun, fake, keeper. He's gonna get yardage, he's got a first down. He's all the way up to the 44. Onus, managing to turn nothing into something, keeping it there, going straight up the gut. Onus gives it to Sean. shotgun throwing it over the middle and over through his target he was covered now Otis is challenged with a third and ten likely going to be a pass play here got him some extra protection and he's just going to dump it off to Glong and they're not going to get the first down we're at the two minute warning and the Crusaders are going to have to punt the ball again Big boot. And they'll start it at their own 20. Hazel Rose has Daniels behind him. Two minute drill coming for the River Hogs. Just dumps it off to Daniels. Trying to pick up the first down, won't get there. Got stopped in his tracks by Damiana Self. Here's another pass play, getting that one. Finds his man, that'll get a first down. Another quick pass over the middle. And there's gonna be a timeout now trying to conserve this clock. 57 seconds for the River Hogs. In the shotgun. Quick throw out. Got it to Jeffrey John. They stayed in bounds, and that's another timeout. 53 seconds to work. Two men in the backfield. He's got time. He, find an o he found an open man. It's Ken Zenner. 
that's going to be a first down. And that keeps the clock moving. He did not go out of bounds. Very poor awareness there. Plenty of time. Just dumps it off this time to Ken Zenner again. And they're down to 14 seconds. And they're going to call a timeout. 16 seconds, rather. This has to be out of bounds, incomplete, or in the end zone. And here's the pressure, throwing it, and it's incomplete. Dangerous play there. If the defensive tackle had made it into the backfield and got him, that would have been the end of that drive. Plenty of time, dumps it off and overthrows it. Maybe doing this intentionally to try to not let the clock run out. Give himself another shot. And he's going to get it to Jeffrey John, and they're not going to have enough time. Bad decision there, and that's going to cost them potentially three to seven points. We go into halftime with a River Hog lead, though. It seems like they've been in firm control. A big run play by the new quarterback, Onis Odobi Jr. Really the only offense we've seen so far from the Crusaders. It looks like they're doing a half-decent job of getting open, getting some running lanes. They just have not executed well so far. Crusaders' defense has been holding up well. But more impressively, we have seen the River Hogs, after getting shredded last week, doing very, very good this week on limiting big plays. And we're seeing a lot of these unskippable scenes, so I'm just trying to fill some time. If you haven't yet, make sure you leave a comment live. This is premiering on a Sunday, so the comments after the game don't mean anything for your points. I mean, feel free to comment. Leave me any suggestions, feedback. Just let me know how your day's going. Go ahead, leave that in the comments if you want. But if you want your points, leave the comments live. There's the boot. Nessa Bryant gets it to Joseph or Cooper, I believe. And doesn't get that one back to the 25. Taking the field again is the River Hogs. Portland starting their drive in this half with a quick dump off. Getting that one to Daniels. Utilizing Daniels a lot more this game. And that throw is contested by Jay Blinko and it falls harmlessly to the ground out of bounds. Third and nine. Hazel Rose struggling to find his accuracy, his last drive, and I'm now on this drive. Hazel diagnosing the defense, probably. This is a weird power stance he's got going on right now. I think this might be a glitch. Some of the receivers aren't set. And it was. Nothing I can do about that, folks. That's just Madden being mad. We'll see if they hike the ball this time. This time out of his power stance, immediately hiking the ball. I think he may have had momentary lapse of judgment there and just manages to throw it out before Damian Self comes flying in to get the hit on the quarterback. Damiana came in there like a rocket. Here's the big punt by Bean Sun. Returnable by Blinko and he'll get wrapped up. He'll only gain a couple. Maybe this is an opportunity for momentum to shift for the Crusaders. Still looking for their very first win. They give the handoff to Selfie. Runs into his own man. 
and he's only gonna pick up maybe three yards. Averaging two yards a carry so far, very unlike Sean Self. Quick throw over the middle, this one to Bridges, and he'll get the first down. Maybe a little bit more for 12 yards. Handoff to Self. And that's going to go nowhere. He might pick up a yard. Onus in the shotgun. Calls for the receiver in motion. Looking around. He's feeling the pressure, and it's a fumble. Picked up and returnable. Can he go all the way? The 25, the 20. He'll be stopped by an old lineman. And Onus just trying to prolong that play way too much. Has his first turnover of the game. And this is about the time last game where he started getting ugly. And that sails almost into the waiting arms of Richard Berry. Very lucky that wasn't picked off. Hazel Rose, another opportunity. He's going to hand it off to Daniels. He's going to shed a tackle, get a couple more yards. He'll eventually get stopped by Barry. Dropping back, throwing, getting it to Jeffrey John for the first down, and it's a fumble, returnable by Jay Blinko down the sideline to the 30 almost. A big hit on Jeffrey John, and it falls into the arms of Jay Blinko. Huge hit from Damiana Self, and that is definitely a fumble. Damiano with the forced fumble, the recovery from uh, Jay Blinko, and he took it about 27 yards. And that just dropped by Don Glung. Tried to rifle it into his big man's chest. This time he'll get to his other big man, Fred Dunn. That'll pick him up seven yards. Be a much more manageable third and three. the shotgun. Quick throw and he overthrows Glong. And here's the punt. And a fair catch called for. They'll start at the 19. And a turnover one way and a turnover the other. The momentum could truly go to anyone right now. And here's the pressure and the sack. Meekum got in there. He's been forcing a lot of pressure on the quarterback tonight, and he finally got there with a sack. Second and 21 coming up for Hazel Rose. Quick throw, and got this one to Mike Scott. Very easily could have been e uh, almost intercepted by Liad Lederman. Almost got there in time to jump the route. Third and 13, dropping back. Finding Jeffrey John, and that's not going to be enough for the first down. It'll give him some space to punt, though. Bean Sun, punting it. Got a lot of distance on it. Returnable by Blinko. And Jay will be dropped at the 46. Very good starting field position for the Crusaders. And he's going to tuck it and run. And he's going to be wrapped up right at the line of scrimmage. He thought he could squeeze into a small gap there. And he only gains one off the tuck. The handoff. Self bouncing way outside. He's got the first down. First really good run of the night for Sean Self. The play design looked like he was supposed to go right up the gut. He saw that the lanes were congested, just bounced it outside where it was a sea of green grass. And it's a draw. Self changing directions, jumping forward. 
getting nine yards on that one. Utilizing Sean Self and getting him warmed up. You'd like to see this if you're a Crusader fan. Quick throw and that's almost picked off. Very close to being intercepted. There's the handoff, they'll get it to Self and he'll get the first down. Really like to see the fake, the fake run to the pass on second and one. You know you have the running back who can get you a yard. Good play calling this drive from the Crusaders. And there's the fake, bouncing outside is Onus, getting five yards. Onus doing some work on the ground and that'll take us into the fourth quarter. Crusaders have yet to score, but they're in striking distance. Throw over the middle, tightly contested. Somehow Don Glong caught on to or caught it and held on to it. There's the handoff to Self. Manages to push forward for seven yards. Running game starting to work, keeping it balanced. And there's the run up to gut, the spin and the touchdown for Sean Self, tying the game. Self goes right up the gut and gets a 10 yard touchdown off the spin. And we have a tied ball game in the fourth quarter. A low score, but a thriller. This one returnable. And going to be grabbed by Jim Williams. Rose dropping back. The throw. Caught in a first down to Jeffrey John. Hazel Rose having himself a nice day so far. Quick throw, left side, this time to Zenner. And he fumbles it, recovered by Jim Williams. Williams has been quiet all day, and he just forced the biggest fumble of the game. Potential momentum swinger. Zenner got it, he had a first down. And it was ripped out by number 34. Number 34, Mike Litteris. Just yanked the ball out from his arms. Jim Williams recovers. And a first down throw to Sean Self. And Jim Williams is just one of those guys who always seems to be in the right place at the right time. He has that kind of instinct. The handoff and spun from behind, but still manages to get a couple of yards. Can the Crusaders take advantage of their good field position? Bowling it up the middle, he's still moving. Sean Self with another big run. <coughs> Sean Self is a guy, unless you drop him, take him to the ground, the play is not over. Sounded like Collinsworth there. Chris, not Cedric. And there's a touchdown throw deep to Malcolm Bridges. What a pass. And showing off to the crowd Silencing this home stadium. What a rifle pass. Trusted his receiver to stay in the right position and make the play. Jumping up and making the grab. Another spectacular grab for Malcolm Bridges. And that gives San Diego the lead in the fourth quarter. I don't think that's ever happened for this franchise. And Zenner's fumble might be an extremely costly mistake. 
But Portland still has four minutes and 36 seconds to answer. This one returnable from Cooper. Gets all the way up to the 30. Rose. Feeling the pressure. Home crowd. Dropping back. Drops it to his running back, and he's going to get stopped, but he's going to move forward for a few yards. Jim Williams calling out to his teammates, adjusting the play. And that one's tipped up in the air and almost falls into the arms of a waiting crusader who could have taken that six. Almost an absolutely devastating play for the River Hogs. And trying to drop the uh, tuck it and run and getting dropped behind the line, Meekum gets him. And that's going to set up a punt here. And now the River Hogs are going to have to trust their defense. Crusaders might have the ability here to ice this game with a good offensive drive. Blinko pushes forward for about eight yards. Lining up, I formation. He's going to hand it to, uh, to Daniels. Stopped right at the line by Woodson. Bowling him over, and now it's second and six. They're going empty backfield here. They're going to be aggressive, using up all the clock. And he's going to tuck it and run, and he's going to get stopped. He saw some space, but the defender managed to just shed the block and get there. That'll take us to the two-minute warning. San Diego could be closing out their very first victory. Can the hashtag fire the frog movement, movement be halted? And there's the run to Sean Self. That's a first down. There's going to be the first timeout. You cannot allow another first down. The fake. It's Onus. He's got it in more to the 35, the 30, 25, 20, and the 19. Onus picks up a huge play off the play action or the read option. And now in scoring position, all they have to do is not fumble the ball. And they are almost guaranteed a 10 point lead even if they can't pick up this first down or a touchdown. The handoff to Sean Self. That'll pick up four yards. No more timeouts. Gonna use up as much clock as possible. If he reaches that first down, this game is over. The handoff. Self spinning and gets the first down. San Diego is going to walk away with their first win of the season. The huge skid ends. What a huge moment for San Diego. That first win is going to be a monkey off the back of the coaching staff and the GM. Victory formation for Onus Odobi Jr. And just a devastating run game from this San Diego team. It's going to ice this win. Costly mistakes coming to bite. Portland in the rear end. San Diego walking away with a victory in the River Hog Stadium. What a game this was. I cannot wait to go look at stats. Let's get right to it. Hazel doing pretty good in the air. Had some accuracy issues. Both quarterbacks not doing phenomenal with their completion percentage. Touchdown throw that deep bullet. 
to Malcolm Bridges. Self managed to get four broken tackles at 18 carries for 85 yards. And here's another difference maker, Onus Odobi, just shredding the defense on the ground. You already had to worry about Sean Self and these wide receivers. Now you have to worry about the movement of Onus Odobi Jr. We saw him take off a couple times the last game, but it looks like they started to give him more runs by design. Jeffrey John, the leading reception getter this game. Managed to get 45 yards. There's that one big play by Ken Zenner for 39. Glong, another favorite target. A lot of dump offs to Evan Daniels. And we're going to get a chance to see defensive. Treshawn Rose with four tackles. And Hames Jarrison got a sack. Swallow Meekum had a sack. No interceptions. Let's take a look at these forced fumbles. Mike Litteris and Damiana Self both coming up huge forcing fumbles. Jim Williams and Jay Blinko coming up big for him too. Those two plays swung the momentum for the Crusaders. Huge. Huge in the impact for the final final score of the game. Bean Sun, Vanessa Brady. A lot of punting going on this game. Bean Sun averaging a little bit more. Weren't any kicks. And that's the stats for the game. Hope you guys had fun. This was an awesome game. San Diego gets their first win. This has been Lions signing off.